In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Clocking Bell Raid. Um, you can call this a mission or a heist. I guess this can be a heist because you do five setups and then you do a finale. So I'm not going to talk much about the setups, but I'm going to show you guys the finale, show you guys the quickest way to do it and how to make the most money with it. But really, let's just get right into the video. All right, so first things first, I'm actually sick. I have a cold, so if I sound a little weird, that's my bad. But when you go into GTA 5, you're going to get a call from Vincent. So that's this guy right here. And then once you open your map, you're going to see a V on the map. And then once you go there, you're going to get this super long cutscene. And then from there, you can start and do the setups. Now, if you didn't know, this heist is actually pretty new. At the time of you guys watching this, if you're watching it when it first came out, um, this heist actually came out yesterday. So it's brand new. And pretty much what you want to do is, like I said, if you open up your map, you're going to see a V. And then once you go there, you can start to do the setups after the cutscene. Now, usually with other heists, you can kind of choose the setups that you want to do. So like with the casino heist, if you guys have done it, or with the Kyle Perico, there's like a bunch of setups and then you can choose which ones you want to do. With this one, there's five setups and all of them are mandatory. You do get to choose certain things though. For example, your getaway vehicle, um, it'll give you three options and then it'll pretty much say you can go to any of them and pick the ones that you want. You also do get an option for your weapons as well so you can choose which weapons you want. And if you want, you can actually do a setup for all of the weapons and then once you start the finale, you can switch between different weapons. But you really don't need to, just pick one loadout and that should be enough. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the finale now because the setups are honestly quite easily. Um, they're pretty simple to do so we don't need to go over that really. But when it comes to the finale, as you guys can see, you'll spawn in a train outside of this factory here. Now to get inside, you're going to have to blow up this um, pin pad I guess. Once you shoot at it, the gate will open. I also forgot to mention, um, you can do this with up to four people. But I chose to do this solo, so if you want, just do it solo. So once the gate opens, you can go ahead and take all these guys out here. And then if you go to the end of the factory here and open this gate, this is kind of an area that they put. Um, pretty much there is like health in there that you can take. This is where you would be able to change your loadouts. You can also change your armor here. And if you want to refill your ammo, you can also do that here as well. So it's kind of a cool thing, but it's also very unnecessary um, because you're not going to run out of bullets or anything. When I did this uh, finale, I had so much bullets left. But anyways, once you've done that, you can open this gate right here to the right. And then you can go down this hall and make your way to the storage area. Once you're at the storage area, you're going to have a key card with you. So you can open this room right here. And this is where you're going to get a bunch of loot. So go ahead and take all of this loot here. And then once you've done that, you want to go here and take a left and go inside this warehouse where there's going to be more loot for you to take. As soon as you've taken the loot, you can exit the warehouse and then you pretty much have to go to this office. Now to get into the office, you're going to need a key card that you need to pick up and it's going to be right over here. So make sure you pick this up or else you can't get in the office, obviously. And then as soon as you're in the office, you pretty much have to hack this laptop. So you just put a USB in and that starts cooking. And then from there, you're going to have this hacking device in your inventory and you pretty much have to go around to three different PCs and get like a safe code. So literally all you do um, is pretty much going to be beeping and the closer you get to the PC, the beeps are going to get louder and faster. So that's just a way to tell you like, hey, you're getting close to it. But to speed it up for you guys, I'll just show you guys where the PCs are. So the first one is over here. The second one is over here and the third one is over here. And then as soon as you've done all those three, you can go right back into the office. So go back into the office and then as your safe code, um, you need to pull out your hacking device and your safe code will be on there. So you can use that to enter to get into the safe. And then as soon as you've done that, you can just exit and then you need to make your way to your uh, getaway vehicle. So here there's going to be cops shooting at you and there's also going to be people from the warehouse that are going to be shooting at you. But they should honestly be pretty easy to take out. I was doing this on hard mode and it wasn't even hard. Um, and I was doing this solo, so all you guys should be able to do this. And once you're in your getaway vehicle, you can literally just go to the drop-off. And you also need to lose the cups before you go to the drop-off. And then you're literally done, so it's simple as that. 
So now let's just talk about how much you make doing this. So you're gonna get 500k every time you do this, but because it was my first time doing this, you actually get a 200k bonus. So for those of you who haven't done it yet, once you do it for the first time, you're gonna get a 200k bonus, which is nice, which means in total you'll get 700k. But then after that, once you do it for a second time, you're only gonna get 500k. So that's literally how easy this heist is. To be honest with you though, it is kind of a waste of time in my opinion. If you're trying to make money with it, there's better ways to make money. But it's also nice because you don't really need any business or properties to do this. So if you're a beginner, this is really, really good for you. But other than that, it's not a good way of making money. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. But really guys, I'll see you in the next video.